Hey everybody, Josh KI6NAZ. Today I am talking about a cool new hotspot that just came to my home, the ZoomSpot 3.5 inch Nexteon touch enabled screen. So you get some capabilities of the touch applied to your favorite hotspot for operating digital modes. Let's talk about it right now. If you enjoy videos like these, please consider giving me a thumbs up. This comes to me from HRO. They're letting me borrow this. You know I've got Anaheim HRO down the street from me. It's my favorite store to shop at for ham radio stuff. And uh, so I just got to take this home for a little while and take a look at it. If you are curious about my thoughts on Zoom Spot hotspots, I've made multiple videos on it, including setup videos. I've done, I've done a review video of the smaller screened model. Believe it or not, that a lot of the same capabilities that you get as far as the functionality of it being a hotspot are the same. It's still a D-Star, DMR, Yaesu System Fusion, P25, NXDN hotspot, which means it's converting whatever radio you have into some other mode of operation, or it's your broker to get to the internet for making those long distance talking contacts via the internet through different talk groups or chat rooms or whatever your particular digital mode of favor uses. All right, we got a ZoomSpot 3.5 inch kit here. Comes with a power lead, a charger, or the AC adapter unit, a right angle antenna, and then the main unit, which comes in this uh, plastic wrap, bubble wrap thing. So basically it's a, it's a Nexion Pi Star or zoom spot and it has a much larger screen on it so let's let's give it a shot see what it does oh that was fast Okay, it looks like the uh, utilities, it says future releases, isn't this uh, screen, adjustment is in beta. So it looks like we do have to plug it in. I don't think we've got a way around that. So what we have here is, is an initialized uh, zoom spot. It's just in its base configuration. So what I'm gonna need to do is pull the SD card out of here and uh, load the Wi-Fi configuration. Once I do that, then I can remote into the unit and set it up that way. Or perhaps we can use the touch screen. I, I, it doesn't look like it's, uh, it's not much I can do right now. Well, thank you uh, for your time. Uh, you sound clear. There's no uh, drop packets on my end for you either. Um, I'll be clear on your final, uh, kj 7 OOV. Yeah, KJ7OOV, this is N5SKT. Hey, we know yeah, that. I'm that guy that's done. I'm going to go back and see if I can get any more of the 13 colonies on HF. I just got a guy uh, in, what was it, Delaware a minute ago? <laughs> and I started in 1977. Um, but I was 18 then and uh, spent two years thinking I was going to graduate in music and then ended up... Uh, getting a degree in computer science or actually. So considering that most of the functionality is the same across all the zoom spots, the big feature that separates this one from the others is the touch screen. Uh, as well as it being so big, it gives you extra information. But with the touch screen, you're gonna be able to control more things on the front panel. This just came out and it's using a version of software where a lot of the features are still in beta on the touch screen, but all the visual displays are working. There's lots of information available there. And so far it's been uh, really handy if you, know, if you wanted to just mount this on a wall or something like that in your shack, then you can just look at it instead of having to look at your computer. It's the same thing that I had said about the small smaller screen version of the zoom spot. This one though, a lot bigger with a color screen and that touch capability as they start to leverage it more will yield more capability. Out of the box for just your knowledge, this was running 4.1 version of PyStar software. PyStar has a website where you can download images for whichever 
hot spots you're running as well as it has a really nice Wi-Fi supplicant file creator. This is an incredibly handy thing to have. Again, I covered this in another video, but I will just repeat it again and the link will be in the description. You use the Wi-Fi supplicant creator to create a file that you drop just on the root level, the base level of your SD card. Then you start the Pi-Star up with that card in and it will sync it to your Wi-Fi. Uh, makes it really, really easy to set the Pi-Star up quickly because pretty much that's all you have to do at that point. And then you can go directly to the Pi-Star via the Pi-Star web-enabled uh, website there. Web-enabled website, you, you get it. Uh, <laughs> and then do your final configurations through that. At the time of recording, this is available for $239 off of hamradio.com and it is in every store that they have. So you should be able to find that if you're looking. It's actually on sale right now, so consider that if you're thinking about getting a hotspot. Now, hotspots have come to a place now where different models, different manufacturer are gonna give you lots of different options when you consider them across the board. This one is gonna be really good for those of you that may not be looking at the Pi-Star website, the local website, and just want something that you can look just directly at the screen, kind of like the smaller one does, but this even more so, because it's color, gives you lots of really cool information. So consider that when you're thinking about purchasing a hotspot, what you want the hotspot to do for you. Not only are you going to be converting you know, your YSF into DMR, or you're just gonna connect DMR to a DMR hotspot or a talk group that you wanna talk to. All of those are valid use cases. But then there are other things to consider on top of that, like having a touch screen, which is a really nice option to have. And uh, I have enjoyed playing with it. So check it out if you're interested. So why don't you tell me in the comments what you think about the ZoomSpot 3.5 inch. Uh, I like it. I, I think it's a, a cool idea. Obviously, why would you not think it's a cool idea to put a touch screen on a hotspot? things are generally going to have options like that available on devices such as a hotspot. If you have been thinking about getting a zoom spot, well, this is one more option available to you. Again, thank you to HRO for letting me take a look at the zoom spot. The link will be in the description so you can check it out on your own. I am Josh KI6NAZ. Please give me a thumbs up if you have not already. Consider subscribing because I live screen, I live scream every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, I'll talk to you later. See ya.